Hi lovelies, I know it's been a while since the last time I talked to you through my videos and I really miss doing that because I feel like it's just nice to converse with you and hang out with you but I've been traveling around quite a bit um, last month so it was a bit challenging for me to find a place where I know I won't be disturbed or um, a place with not too much noise in the background but I'm happy that now I can um, talk to you again through this video For me personally, the end of April and the beginning of May is the month of decluttering, cleaning, organizing, and tidying up because I am planning to move to Amsterdam for the half of the year so I really need to start prioritizing on the things I want to have with me here and really select the things that I would find useful, things that would make me happy. I think that's one of the challenge of being in Amsterdam. We have limited space and limited storage but I think for me it's a great opportunity to ask myself and question what are the things that are really important for me what are the things that I want to have what are the things I want to prioritize and for me it means more supplies and equipment for my creative endeavors rather than other things like clothes or accessories or bags and shoes or, or makeup or toiletries so I really feel like when you are when you face limitations it's actually an opportunity for you to question your values um, your priorities the things that are important to you the things that really matter and I really feel this month is about that, about setting my priorities when it comes to things I want to carry with me, things I want to have around me, things that I really want to keep and cherish, things that I would uh, use on a daily basis and bring me joy. I guess sometimes we think we need a lot of stuff because maybe we are afraid that we are going to run out for instance with journaling supplies like we buy more supplies stickers and uh, stamps or stuff like that which is fun I have to admit but sometimes we are also thinking oh maybe I need to buy more because um, maybe I will run out you know just in case I am going to journal quite often so I need more but I guess by going through these cleaning, tidying, and decluttering process, I realized that um, we have so much stuff and we have enough stuff um, and like you've seen in the previous footage that I got a bunch of journaling supplies as a gift from my friend Nila, thank you Nila, so suddenly I got more supplies actually without having to buy more and I think it's something really nice um, which I learned to apply in my journaling practice as well is to first really you know buy stuff that you love that you need when you have a lot of that stuff for instance like memo pads stickers papers I think just use it happily do not hoard it or if you like share it with some of your uh, friends through happy meal so that you can enjoy it um, together and I guess just be creative with whatever I have with me